Hi, I'm Kim. Now, when you're new to quilting, one of the first three pieces of essential equipment you need as a quilter is your cutting mat. Um, and that works with your rotary cutter and your quilting ruler. However, it can be a minefield trying to choose your cutting mat. So let me talk you through the type and the style that you need and the size of your cutting mat so that you don't have any errors and your investment is safe for many years to come. I'll also, if you hold out, I'll also share with you my favourite brand and that might help you narrow down your list slightly. So let me talk about the size first. So size of cutting mat, I would recommend you get A2. So it depends where you are in the world. A2 is 23 inches by 17 inches or 600 mil by 430 millimetres. Why that size? That size is because when you get your fabric off the bolt, the width of the fabric will fit onto your cutting mat with ease. Uh, fabric, uh, quilting fabric off the bolt is folded in half and that you'll find just happens to be about 22, 23 inches, which fits perfectly on your cutting mat, suitably for when you're cutting. So that's the size. So your A2, so your 23 by 17 inches. Secondly, I'm going to switch camera now and show you this because there is a particular type that you need. And this is really, really important that you get this. So don't go anywhere. Let me just switch camera. There we go. So this is one of my favorite cutting mats. This is an A2 size that I happen to have under the camera here, but you'll see if I move that out of the way, this is the one on my cutting table underneath. The one I have on my cutting table is A1, it's huge. Uh, but then I cut a lot of fabric, I have an online shop, so I'm cutting a lot of fabric a lot of the time. So let me explain about this because this is really important. When you are, whichever brand you buy, when you're looking at your cutting mat, you want this matte surface. Can you see here? If I compare it to the one underneath, let's just move things along so you can see. Can you see this one? is shiny okay and this one is matte now this may look all very beautiful and lovely and like glass when you see them in the shops but don't go for those ones go for these matte ones let me explain why when you're feeling these so first of all use your fingers have a have a have a feel have a stroke <laughs> we're allowed to do that in quilting if you feel this it is slightly textured I would say rough, that's too strong a word, but it's it's got a, a, a texture or a roughness to the surface. You want that because when we put our fabric on here and when we've got our ruler on top of it, okay, because that's what we're going to need to cut, you will find that as long as you've got a non-slip ruler, that's another video for another time, when we've got a non-slip ruler on top of this matte textured surface of your cutting mat, you will find that once I'm holding this ruler down, this isn't moving anywhere. Now bear in mind, you're about to cut this with a rotary cutter and they are sharp blades. You do not want your blade slipping in any direction. You don't want your fabric slipping in any direction. If your fabric slips, your rotary cutter will slip as well. So you can see here by, in fact, not much pressure, this isn't going anywhere. Let me show you against, or compare this against my slippy slidey one here. There's a clue in that, this nice, beautiful, shiny one, because if I do the same thing on here and I put the ruler on this, on the fabric on this one, you can see here, that's the same pressure, I promise, as I was holding down on the other one. And it slips and it slides. You do not want that, okay? So when you are choosing your cutting mat, have a look at them. If it is shiny and beautiful and glass-like, do not buy that one. Do buy the one that is matte and textured um, to the surface. Okay, that, that's not very good English, but you know, the matte, slightly textured surface, that means that uh, your fabric won't slip. Now there's some really, really good brands about of cutting mats that won't slip. So there are, there's Creative Grids, that's a good brand. There's Fiskars, that's a good brand. Um, now, my absolute favourite of cutting mats, and they are more expensive than the others, but I, I truly believe that if you're going to buy equipment, 
uh, for a hobby that's going to last you for years. You want you want your equipment to last you for years as well. And you want to stay safe. This is the important thing that uh, probably above everything else, I want you to stay safe. I want you to enjoy your hobby as well. Safety aside, if your fabric's slipping about, it's not an enjoyable process, I promise. So the brand that I love above all others is da, 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 Ulfa, okay? So Ulfa, they make the rotary cutters, yes, but they make the cutting mats as well. So yeah, as I said, they're a bit more expensive than the other brands. So I've had to put that back because if I put it here, it's sticking into my tummy. We don't want that. So um, Olfa is the brand that I would always go for for my cutting mats. You may have your own favourite and that is absolutely fine. Just what I suggest is get the one that is matte and with this slight texture. And just before I go, the other thing that you probably want to be looking for is make sure that it has a thickness to it because you aren't going to be using it a lot. So you want it to last. One final tip before I go, always store your cutting mat flat, okay? If you store it upright or leaning against something, it'll warp and the measurements will go out. It won't be easy to cut on. Uh, so you want to always store it flat wherever you can, okay? So I hope that helps you in choosing your the best cutting mat for your quilting and all your sewing as well. Hope that has helped you and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.